Before joining ENB, I um, religiously watched Emerging Dancer as I was a student with English National Ballet School. And it was always a dream of mine to one day get into the company and also be a part of that competition. As far as I remember, it was a private event that we used to have at the beginning. It was located at our oldest building. In fact, Tamara was one of the first judges. Comparing the way how we started and then the way how it is now, it, it definitely improved quite a lot. And it, it's, it's good to be back. There was a couple of dancers that I really looked up to that had done Emerging Dancer before. And I would watch their videos on YouTube and I stumbled upon Emerging Dancer, which actually like, made me think about joining the company as well. Because I thought it was a good experience for young dancers um, starting out their career to be able to do something like that. I watched Emerging Dancer, I think it was 2015, the first one. I was in school and I was just, I thought it was like the greatest thing ever because being a young dancer, seeing other young dancers who were, you know, a little further along than me, but not much. It was really inspiring to see them really having their moment in the spotlight. And I was like, I want to do that. But I never imagined that I would be, you know, four years later in that position. I remember the first time I actually saw the atmosphere was amazing. And like the talent was just amazing. I was like, I couldn't believe what I was watching. It was like, yeah, it was amazing. So yeah, I really remember that and like the audience going, absolutely crazy after each person danced and like just to see pe the people supporting each dancer was just like so special. So I always remember that one. I mean every year is amazing but I, that was the first one I watched. It's become this huge kind of family thing where even if you're not involved you're still, still like, involved. cheering in because yeah. I remember our year like we could just hear all the dancers in the audience and it's just such nice support. It was my second year with, this, with the company and I had not that much experience with Padida, so it was a great learning curve to learn from my mentors, to know the skills and to help me grow in my professional career. So yeah, it was very, very special. It's amazing because everyone is there to support you and like mentor you, coach you. And even like with the other dancers that I was like competing with, like, we are all very connected and we are supporting each other because we are going through the same thing. You feel part of like a big family, especially during this time. And I felt like I learned so much from my coaches and my mentors. I thought it was a very nice experience for a new dancers or young dancers to show themselves what they can do and have opportunity to dance roles that, that we normally don't get to dance. You actually get to do a pas de deux with a partner and it's the connection between the two working together and trying to achieve what will look best for the two of you on stage. I just took it as a really like an opportunity to show myself. This is like a lot for me, I just wanted to prove to myself that I was able to do this. It took me out of my comfort zone and it forced me to work on things that I needed to work on and I needed to improve on so I think it was very helpful for both my confidence and my technique because it, yeah, the challenge is always good. You rise to it. But it wasn't a competition. It was like prepare for a gala or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was fun. It was really fun. It was my first year in the company when I, I got the award and it was very unexpected. Yeah, it was very, it was so overwhelming, but very appreciated because to see that the audience appreciate what you do on stage, it's, it's quite nice. It was just really special just to think about how many people like appreciate what you do on stage and you as a person, as an artist, it was really special. It was so nice to win with Junior as well because I danced with him and we worked together and worked really hard. My year was very special, not just for me but also for Alison because it was the first time that Tamara made it two winners. I cannot wait to dance with Alison again this year, which is going to be a, a lovely thing. You see that with the people that have danced many years ago, the competition and where they are dancing, at what level they are dancing now, it's, there's, a, there's a very big improvement. For me, Emerging Dancer, I feel like was kind of the beginning. Since winning, I got given a lot of great roles and opportunities and I feel like 
Having that experience working with a partner in Emerging Dancer has helped going forward, doing bigger pas de deux and on stage and knowing what to expect. It, it definitely changed the way I see myself or how I see my colleagues dancing with me. It taught me how to present myself on the stage. It gave me a little bit more confidence, but it also made me think that I need to prove why I won Emerging Dancer, mm -hmm. so it made me work harder. Emerging Dancer definitely gave me the confidence to continue in my career. It was more of a motivation to like keep pushing and it helped me to like believe more in myself. This is the 12th year of Emerging Dancer. It's not a competition this season, it's more of a celebration. It's now live streamed around the world, which is even bigger and better. Emerging Dancer has kept growing and evolving because it's really exciting for audiences to see the up and coming dancers who they mightn't usually see in roles on stage. And I think that that draws an audience.